Many approaches to international politics take as their starting point the breakdown and failure of cooperation, most notably in the form of violent conflict. But what gets lost in this focus on war and violence? Is international politics really a tragic tale of the inevitability of conflict? Are sovereign states only motivated by mutual mistrust, fear and paranoia? Are meaningful and lasting forms of cooperation and progress impossible? Drawing on the insights of leading researchers from within the University of Birmingham's School of Government and Society, together we will critically explore the complex and diverse forms of cooperation that constitutes contemporary international politics. Identify a number of key conceptual approaches that can help you interpret the puzzle that is cooperation and demonstrate that today, conflict is the exception rather than the rule. In an increasingly globalised and interdependent world, we face a number of challenges that test the cooperative architecture of international politics to breaking point and occasionally beyond. How can we regulate and revitalise a struggling global political economy? Can we avoid or at least mitigate the damaging and irreversible effects of climate change? Is it possible to limit the proliferation and potential use of weapons of mass destruction? How can we ensure the security and freedom of individuals from both fear and want? So why can't governments and other actors come together to deal with these problems in a cooperative and supportive fashion? What blocks that? That really is the fundamental starting point for this inquiry. Central to that is the problem of how we fashion cooperation. The obstacles to cooperation, the sorts of conditions that give rise to cooperation, and how cooperation can be made much more effective. In this course, you'll learn about why different societies cooperate, in what ways they cooperate, and in a series of different contexts, you'll explore some of the problems to do with cooperation and why lack of cooperation can lead to a lack of peace. Join me, Jamie Johnson, as we explore the ways in which we can meet the challenges of the 21st century.